Hello everyone, in this video, I want to talk about how to edit a ring. Here is a ring that I draw. It is a 3 by 3 array. If I want to edit it, I have to use array edit tool. We can also click it to show the array, <coughs> array, array tab. Here, we can edit it. We can also go to command window, type in array edit. Use it to click it to start editing array. And now, it says select array. So let's select, select it. So look at the command window. It said enter an option. Let's say source. Look at the command window. It says that select item in the array. Say I want to select this one. Click it. It shows edit source object of associative array okay i already selected this one so uh, say that i want to draw another circle within this circle with the same center so let's go to circle 2 draw a circle within this circle It says special radius. This is the radius. I want to keep three. Okay. You see that the entire array changed. I just add a small circle in this item, but the total, the total array changed. All the circle changed. Right now, I want to right click to close. To close a re edit and save edit to a re. Okay, if we if I want to keep a addition, let's type in a re edit. Select a re edit to here and click the array. This time. I want to use replace to edit because I want to replace another one. So the new one is going to be a rectangle. Rectangle. So but I have to have a rectangle first. So let's exist first. Let's draw a small rectangle. So I want to replace this atom with this small rectangle click it and uh, this time I want to go here go edit edit go to replacement here replacement select the re replacement object select it right click it Look at the command window, select the base point of the replacement object. So I want the center of the rectangle as the base point. Click the center. Look at the command window, select, a, 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 select an atom in the array to replace. Say I want to replace this one. Okay, I selected it. So it was replaced by, by the replacement object. This is a small rectangle. See, I want to replace this one just by click, click it. Replace this one, click it. Okay, it's done. Now I want to right click and hit enter. Now I want to keep, keep edition 
look at the command window. Here is the, we can select the base point of the array. The base point is actually in the center of the first first object in the array. Usually, we want to keep it. We don't add it. Right click, hit enter, and it get back to the command window. This time, I want to change rows. Right now, I have three rows. Right. Say I want five. Type in five. Okay. Right now, we have five. Five row. And uh, look at the command window. It says that we see five distance between rows. Say I want to select the total. The total means that the distance between start and the end. Start and the end. The current distance is seventy five point eight. Say I want change to ninety. Hit enter. Okay. The total distance now changing to ninety. Here it also says that CBC has an increasing elevation between rows. So I don't want to change it. So I want to hit enter. Now it's get back to the re edit. Now I can select the column. Basically, it's the same to the row, so I don't want to play it again. Levels. Levels mean that it's going to add another layer of the arrays. Let's try what happened. Select it. It says that enter the number of the array. Say I want to have three layers of the array. Look at the, look at the screen. I type in three and hit enter. Now, it's hard to see, right? Actually, we have three layers of array, three layers of array. And uh, look at the command window. It says uh, specify the distance between between level. And I select the total. So it's like the distance between start and end level. Say I want to change to 6. How to see? How to see the level of a range? Actually, it's how to be in a 3D mode. So I want to exist first. And close here, close, close array. I want to use navigation. Navigation bar, bar here. The orbit, orbit. So orbit a little bit. Now you are going to see the levels of array. Right. right now we have three levels. Three levels. You can clearly see right. three levels. Okay, let's get back. Thank you very much for watching.